So we're talking a little bit about Mediterranean mooring and just making things easy for you. And um, here we are, we've backed up to the dock. Um, we've got one cleat on over here, but here's the problem is that the wind has pushed us uh, downwind and we really need to be in that slip over there um, and get our boat to go upwind. Um, so this is our freestyle docking program and you can practice just about anything in VR in docking, um, but I just want to show you this. Um, so this is our wind settings, and right now we're at 10 knots, and we've got it out of the north, um, but we can change the wind direction, we can practice anything we want, um, <clears throat> and that will change how the boat reacts with the wind, but for now this is the situation. 10 knots, and blowing us sideways we want to get the boat up into there, and in a med mooring situation, you're typically going to have a um, what we call a slime line. It comes off the dock, it runs down across the bottom of the water out to a concrete block over there. You pick up the slime line and then you bring it up onto the bow of the boat and then you tighten it up. But again, in this situation, like the crew up there will be struggling with trying to tighten that line up uh, almost possible and they're just going to be fighting the wind. And so um, then, you know, there'll be other people on there tossing lines over and everybody's struggling against the wind. And this is such a simple situation to fix. So all we're going to do is we're just going to power the boat upwind. And so here, um, I'm just going to put the boat into gear like this. And then I'm going to work the wheel. So a little bit to starboard, and that's going to bring the boat up like that, and all the time it's just bringing the boat upwind, so bring it up to starboard, and at this point, this is just a really good point where you can tell the crew, okay, we'll tighten up on the on the slime line, um, and they can do that, or you can get a nice uh, dock line from perhaps the other boat over to your boat, and that'll keep the bow upwind like this in this position, so now the bow can't move. Now what we want to do is just kick the stern over, and that's really simple, so just watch this. So we just turn the boat to port, the stern to port, and that brings the stern upwind. Alright, so we can just sit here, and we can maneuver the boat upwind, into position, and then we can even just take our time, and get another dock line on. <clears throat> and we can even unlock this one here and all the while the bow has been uh, tied off with the uh, slime line so this is just such a good way of just practicing uh, maneuvering it and look what I'm doing here I'm just sitting here behind the helm and I'm just working the wheel but not very much a little bit to starboard a little bit to the port to kick the stern over um, Nobody's yelling at everybody, and we're just maneuvering the boat easy. Okay, uh, guys, uh, tie off the line up front. Good, they've got that nice and tight. Everything is so simple. Um, these are the kinds of things that you want to practice in virtual reality, so that when you get to Croatia, and that's a $10 million yacht, say, and there's another $5 million yacht there, and a really expensive one there, um, and you're just maneuvering the boat like this, nice and easy around and nobody's getting up and um, putting their drink down and throwing lines and people in the restaurant uh, tables over there are all just sitting there saying, oh yeah, that guy knows what he's doing, um, rather than everybody screaming and yelling and running and uh, tossing dock lines for you. So this is the kind of uh, maneuvering practice that you really want to do in VR and uh, hey, it's absolute fun doing it as well. And you'll learn about all the physics of what happens to your boat when you turn the wheel port or starboard and then what's happening against the spring lines. Alright, hope you enjoyed this little tip and we'll have more Mediterranean tips and docking tips. And you can see this dock here, we've got it all set up like you could even untie from here and then go fill up in the fuel dock over there and practice trying to get into that little spot with um, winds in different directions. Um, and the physics here is just absolutely amazing. So, uh, 
enjoy uh, your time learning in VR before you put yourself in the real situation uh, in the Mediterranean or any dock in the world. Thank you.